Let's bring in MSNBC political analyst Jonathan Alter, also columnist for The Daily Beast and director of the documentary Breslin and Hamill, Deadline Artist, that airs Monday at 8 p.m. on HBO. Uh, Atima Omara, former president for Young Democrats of America and former House GOP committee counsel Sophia Nelson, opinion writer for USA Today. Welcome to all of you as we get started Francis. with you, Jonathan. Uh, part of Roger Stone's defense is that these are process-related charges, so can he legitimately make that case here? Well, we're going to find out, uh, but one thing I would be very leery of is punditry that suggests he's going to flip. Hmm. You know, it could happen, but I've known Roger for 30 years, and I, I wouldn't bet on it. Um, you know, it, somebody was saying, well, he might want to be John Dean. He despises John Dean, <laughs> and I think he's much more likely to identify with somebody like G. Gordon Liddy, who went to jail, uh, did not flip um, during Watergate, and then he came out and he was a big celebrity on the right, had his own radio talk show host. So he'll fight this. He'll try to beat it. He'll have some good legal help. But uh, if he loses and does time, he'll be fine with that. Yeah, I want to take that further, uh, Atima. If he does time, he'll be fine with that. And, and, and then what? Uh, if I, you I agree. Mean, no, I mean, <laughs> I think uh, Stone is a, an interesting character in that he's going to, you know, fight this all the entire way. Um, certainly he's been doing that since last night, certainly all of this time. Um, I think we're going to see how this plays out. But, you know, at the at the end of the day, I mean, I think it's too, you know, early to f figure out whether he's going to do time or not. But I don't think that he's going to willingly flip, not willingly, um, hmm. on the president as it stands right now, given, you know, he holds himself to a, a high level of, you know, being close and loyal to people going back to his days as a young Republican national president. Yeah. Um, Sophia, I'm wondering if a, a conspiracy charge would change that at all because that was one that we have not seen. There's obstruction, witness tampering, making false statements, no conspiracy. Could that be used later uh, when it comes to that? And could we see things change and prove Jonathan wrong? Two, two thoughts. I want to be a little contrary here. One, I, I agree with Jonathan that I don't think flip is the word I'd use. But let me say this. Roger Stone is a man in his 70s. Uh, he's had a good life. He's married. He's, he's got his dogs that he talks about, right? When you get to that season of your life, jail is not where you want to end your life. And I think that when you're looking, as you mentioned, a conspiracy charge, uh, also collusion. I'm more interested in the person who directed him that's in the indictment. That's what I'm interested in. I think that's what we're all interested in. And I think that if the feds coming to your home at the crack of dawn mm -hmm. and rustling you out of bed and you looking at prison time in your 70s, I think that that's something you'd have to think long and hard about. You can talk trash about being loyal and you could say you're going to hang in there, but life changes again, depending on the season you're in. And I think that there is an opportunity if they put enough pressure on him to get him to at least give up that person who uh, directed him. Perhaps they already know who that is. And I think that uh, you could look at him maybe cutting a deal. Flipping, I don't know if it's outright flipping, but hmm. we'll see. Yeah, Jonathan, what yeah. do you think about that? What do you think the strategy is here? You're saying, yeah, he's thinking, you know, he's lawyering up, he's getting his strategy uh, on a roll, but but where where is he? You don't see it happening, though. Uh, Sophia definitely does, not in the flipping sense, but well, first, first of all, I don't know. I mean, sure, you know, a lot of sure. things can happen. I don't want to be categorical in saying that he won't cooperate. But it is striking that conspiracy is not part of this indictment. Mm -hmm. It can be added later on. Right. And that is the core of this case, not perjury, not obstruction of justice. The core of the investigation is conspiracy. What it's beginning to look like, though, is that Mueller is building a case for what could be described as conspiracy to distribute mm -hmm. stolen material. Yeah. Now remember, he's indicted a bunch of Russians for crimes. So we know crimes have been committed. This material was stolen. And if somebody else comes along and distributes it, that is a conspiracy to commit a crime. There's mm -hmm. a lot of misunderstanding about what conspiracy is. It's not like sitting together and going, oh, let's conspire. You know, there are a lot of ways, if you look at the instructions that judges give juries in conspiracy cases, there's a lot of ways to get to conspiracy for uh, these prosecutors, and some of them might go through Roger Stone. Right. I want to ask you, yes. Tima, uh, oh, oh, would somebody have something to add there? Somebody wanted I was just going to gonna say, in. Francis, as okay. an attorney, I agree 100 percent with Jonathan. He's right. That's really the crux of the matter, the conspiracy issue, and whether or not they can make this stick and make this painful and make him have to deal. And yeah. I think that's, I think Jonathan's 100 percent okay. correct. I want to bring in a team here, um, mm -hmm. especially when it comes to uh, Nancy Pelosi tweeting 
This mm -hmm. Roger Stone's indictment makes clear that there was deliberate, coordinated effort by a top Trump campaign official to subvert the will of the American people during the 2016 election. But you've got the White House press secretary, Sarah Sanders, says this, this has nothing to do with the president. So what <laughs> right. level of involvement is the president here in, in, in your eyes, Atima? Well, I mean, I think that that's, you know, certainly up for, for Mueller to present. Right. I think he probably knows what that is, right? But, you know, again, it's it's the whole, like, there is no collusion here. That's the thing that they've been trying to say, both Sanders, both Trump, you know, everybody in the White House. You know, there's no there there. And, you know, you've got six people already from his campaign team um, or some who came into the administration, like Flynn, who are actually already indicted and or pled guilty. And, you know, where there's smoke, there's definitely some sort of fire. And it's just when did he know what he knew? And if you knew the person who did the direction, I think, you know, the best bet there, given the relationship going back a All long right. ways for Stone and Manafort, is it's likely Manafort. So right. we'll see. We will see. I wish we had more time to talk into that, but we are running out of it. I appreciate all of you being here. And a reminder That's here, uh, Breslin and Hamill, deadline artists mm -hmm. that we'll see um, 8 p.m. on HBO. So Monday. On, on Thanks Monday. for the on plug, Monday. Francis. There Thanks you go. The plug. Little time it's that we a have. good film. Well, we appreciate it. Thank you, Jonathan Alter, Atima Mara, and Sophia Nelson. Thank I appreciate you, it.